What's up you guys? Welcome back to the YouTube Barber Academy. This channel is all about all things barbering. So people who are trying to get better at it, learn how to do it, that kind of thing. Uh, you might want to hit subscribe, hit like, drop a comment, ask some questions. We also have the Saturday live shows that so we're going to be starting those back up again. And you guys can ask any questions you want there. But today's video, this is what we're going to focus on. Why do some barbers leave some weight all in the sideburn area, even though they're going to do a skin fade? What's the purpose of it? And uh, I'll give you guys your answer in the video. So without anything else, man, let's go. All right, we're gonna begin this by just combing it forward, trying to figure out where all the growth patterns are, light spots, density, anything like that. And uh, that way I can kind of get a better feel for how it's gonna react. I'm gonna put a little bit of product in it and I'm gonna blow dry it forward in a second, but we're just gonna do the top uh, with the one and a half with the grain. The main reason why I'm doing this, try to get the hair to lay down flat so when I come back and do the edge, it'll be easy. Okay, so I'm gonna throw in this line with a little bit of a curve, but I'm gonna leave uh, the very front just a little bit so that later when I come back I got something to edge into it and it'll be faint but it'll, it'll actually work out real nice. In the back we're going to just use our, our bigger machine to wipe out all that hair. Uh, that's why I switched over to the Bronze Series 9. Not only is it gentle, it's big and it can take out huge swaths of hair and then uh, when I do my finer detail work like around the ear instead of putting that big old machine around the ears uh, we got the Gamma Uno here with just a single foil and it's just really easy to get the detail work done and as I get close to that line I'm just sort of lifting up my pressure but you do not want to move on from this step until you've efficiently blended your skin into your 5-0 step. Okay, with the clipper in the open position, I'm gonna go up and give myself about an inch. I'm gonna try to keep it parallel to the 5-0 guideline that I put in before. And all I'm really trying to do is just keep it even and I wanna perform this step all the way around the head. Then we'll get down to blending it, but we wanna make sure that we got it nice and even um, all the way around the head. And don't be afraid to run over that first spot that we left because even though it looks like I just took it off, it's still there. It's going to be faint. We don't want to leave a bunch of hair in that edge up. And as we begin to kind of work this line out now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to retrace my steps with it open and I'm going to begin clicking my taper lever up one click at a time, just like there. Each time I move the taper lever, I'm going to try to stay just a little bit lower than I was in the previous step. I'm going to continue moving that taper level towards the closed position until it's fully closed and I've used it for, for all it's worth. If there's any residual there, I'll retrace my steps with the trimmer just a little bit. And uh, if you keep messing with the step, you will get this harsh line out and you can move on and we're going to begin using the guards. And the first guard that I'm going to use is going to be a number one. And we're actually going to be using the uh, Gamma Double Magnetics. They're called the Dubs. They'll be releasing very soon. Uh, but they're just a fantastic set of double magnetic clipper guards that make it easy to blend with. And they're very secure to your clipper. Or even if you choose to use a wall clipper or anything that fits a wall clipper, uh, they'll fit those too. Sometimes before I even do it against the grain, I just want to see what effect it has with the grain. So I actually have the number one on and I'm just staying real close to that line. I know that all this is going to get cut shorter, but I just want to see what effect it has on the curl, if it helps it lay down. And uh, you know, if, if it looks like it's going to be safe for me to go against the grain, that's kind of like, I, I just like to test that out real quick. So I got it in the open position and I'm basically going to retrace the same steps I did in my open taper position um, below where I'll, I'll begin with an open and then little by little I begin closing it until I've pretty much used the number one uh, for all it's worth. And then uh, it looks like I'm, I'm connecting to the top pretty well. So I'm just going to touch this step up. I have the one and one half. I'll put it in the open position and then I'll close it off. Then that way we can we can. Uh, kind of walk away from this part of the top and then I can just get down to finishing off that blend 
Uh, we'll, we'll go back. We'll circle back to the zero guard. And then we will probably still have to go back to open taper for a second just to connect it all together. So it's just real important that you understand how your stuff works for a much more in-depth kind of kind of idea of what's going on here. Feel free to join me on the lives Saturday at 5 uh, p.m. Every Saturday we try to do the show and you guys can ask whatever questions you got. And we go a lot deeper into it to, to really help you get to understand you know, how to do some of these more difficult haircuts, all these skin fades, stuff like that. Now that I'm finished with my zero guard open, zero guard close step, we just wanna tie these two back together. So the very next step under that is the open taper. So put your lever in the completely open position and we're going to just kind of chip into any little bit of areas that you see that are causing a problem. Try to use your corners, uh, try to crisscross a little bit, try not to create extra work for yourself. And uh, if you have to close the lever a little bit, then go ahead and do that. Keep working at it and uh, you'll get it. So now that I kind of see that I got my blend coming out the way I want, I just want to kind of retrace my steps with the grain with the number one. Because again, we did the one and a half with the grain on top. And uh, here's the whole reason why I left that that sideburn area a little bit longer, why I didn't just blow that completely out. Uh, because now I'm actually going to be able to come in and I'm going to make a nice faint line and it's going to connect into, into his beard. Even though we really didn't do this client's beard, uh, this day I just wanted to make it look nice so that it all blends in and all looks good so that's that's the whole purpose of of doing that is just to leave yourself a faint line some clients like it some clients don't um, some clients would prefer it to just be you know completely bald there even if they are wearing a beard so thank you guys for watching man this is the YouTube Barber Academy like share subscribe and I'll catch you guys in my next video I'm out peace Okay, you guys, well, it really seems like YouTube is punishing people who do actual tutorials, like people who really explain things too much or do too good of a job in one video. They want me to basically like leave breadcrumbs so that you guys go to different videos on my channel so that it looks like I'm, you know. <laughs> but. Uh, hang on, honey. Hang on, honey. I got to finish this up. I'm going to finish this. I, I, I'm just saying goodbye. All right. So with that being said, I'm going to start trying to drop a little bit more light content, some easy stuff like this. And if you like what you see, man, let me know in the comments. Let me know if you like this, uh, you know, this style or if this works for you, because it's a lot easier for me to do a lot less work. And hopefully it leads to some more views. All right, you guys, this has been the YouTube Barber Academy. I'm Miss Ready Barber. I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace.